redecorate, renovate, invigorate. Home with Lisa Quinn starts now. Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Quinn. Welcome home. We've got a really special show for you today. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Each year I drive out to Sacramento and I judge a contest at the IKEA. It's a design challenge. We bring in the best design students from all over the area and we give them a challenge. The challenge is this. You see this little table? It's just a little four-sided pine table. Really not much of anything. They gotta make this table something else. We give them $150 and 90 minutes. They have to run through the whole store, snatching and grabbing and seeing what they can find. And in that amount of time, they gotta turn it into something else. It can be anything, it just can't be a table. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Quinn. I wanna welcome you to the third annual IKEA Design Challenge. I recognize a lot of faces from last year and I see some new ones too. We've got the Art Institute of Sacramento and then also the International Academy of Design and Technology. You guys are amazing students and you always do a great job. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys can do. For those of you that aren't familiar with it or maybe just a little rusty, I wanted to go over just a few little rules and regulations. The deal is you've got $150. You're going to be able to run through the store for 90 minutes, get the things you need, and construct something out of these RAS tables. You've seen the RAS table. It's pretty basic. It's pine. It's square. What we want you to do is make it something else can't be a bedside table anymore. Try to be as creative as you can. Once again, you've got 90 minutes, $150. Each team will have a representative to go along with them to keep you on track as far as how much money you're spending and how much time you have left. If anybody has any questions, you can ask any of us. We'll be able to help you. And I guess maybe I'm just eating up more time right now into your 90 minutes. So on your mark, get set, go. You guys are coming up with something uh, already. <laughs> Any ideas? Any hints? You can say it quietly. I won't tell anybody. Gotcha. Okay. Outdoorsy. All right. That's good. There they go. We kind of were thinking, okay, let's do like a bedroom. We could do like a bed with anything. We were looking around the whole IKEA store. We had no idea what we wanted. We had, you know. Uh, when we walked in, we really actually didn't have a plan. Um, <laughs> so I'm thinking about putting that in the... Um... We met this morning at about 10, and we were walking around, and we were just thinking, okay, the first year they did a little table, the second year they did a coffee table, and I kind of thought they were going to do a bookcase kind of thing, and so we just started going with that. these two right next to each other and we're going to use these as shelves for our hopefully a bar type structure. A multi-purpose bar type. You guys are so creative. There they go. No time to talk to me. Will those brackets work for you Claudia? Our idea for the project really came from well wanting to be functional, very usable, um, and then we're thinking, we th thought we wanted to do something kitchen oriented or beverage, drink, that kind of stuff. So it's kind of where it came from. We were 149 and 50 cents. So, I mean, obviously we had it down to a T and we walked out of there just right under. The first thing we had to do was go find what we were gonna do to make it taller and tall enough to be a bar. And that was probably the most stressful part, seeing what we were going to do and what we are going to use to do that. And Actually, go grab somebody to start looking at the dimensions and finding a base for us All right, a base. to build on. To what, what do you think you want to make the base out of? Solid. Something in the shelving area here. All right. Yeah. Okay. How's it going? Good. Good so far. Our three-year winner in a room. Feeling <laughs> the pressure today? Uh, not really. You know, I'm graduating next quarter, so I figure if I win, hey, cool. If not, I'll just go home and be fine with it. Coming up next, the teams have what they need. Now let's see if they have what it takes to pull together something special. <laughs> 